used by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you a new plugin called Kaleidoscribe 2 and in particular the Space Fill. Now this is from Stute Graphics, it's a plugin from them and you can find many other plugins as well, Mirror Me etc from their site. Also find a demo on their site as well. Now first thing to do, I've just got this uh, path here and what you need to do is just, I'm just going to, you could of course fill it with anything but I'm just going to fill it with a path that is, I should say. So I'm just going to quickly reduce it down. And the key thing here is that the second path is smaller than this path. Now, just going to expand that out. And another key thing, obviously, if you fill that to there, you won't be able to see anything. So I'm just going to change the color and just make that red. Okay, select both and then go to space fill. If you can't see that window and collide describe and space fill panel. Right, I'm just gonna go make. Just click that and it will take a few seconds to process. Now you can see it actually doesn't always space them brilliantly initially. Depends on the settings here and the size, etc. So what you need to do, and I'm just gonna quickly reduce the size down here. 20 just make it a bit smaller and there you've actually got the designs and I can go of course something like 10 yeah just visually you can see right now you can see it's much nicer uniform spaced around just fill now there's a number of options like I say you've obviously got the resize here you've got uniformity so you can make it more random by reducing the uniformity down also you've got different methods now you go for senders outlines really depends on the actual design you want to create, how carefully you want to actually space it, and the speed you want to apply it. So if you've obviously got 200 copies, you might prefer to go with centers, which apparently is faster. Now, other options are very size. So you can actually increase that to make sort of randomness in the size. So you can go like three, three times, and you'll actually see some variation. You can see that you've got Sort of size again, you see some colliding now, which you can, of course, remove. Maybe just go for two instead of three. So, right, you got that sort of now they're not colliding, I think it's one or two. Yeah, now, of course, you can again vary the filling size, but that's not dependent on this, and also you can vary the rotation. So, I'm just going to click there, vary rotation, and you can see it now randomly rotates all around. And you can also modify the number of copies. So you can say make it 40, maybe not 20. So there's 40 there. And I haven't counted them all. One, two, three, four. I'm certain there is 40 there. Right. And you've also got auto update. And you can also release and expand. So you can then use them in other work, which is, of course, quite useful. Anyway, I found this plugin very nice, very useful little tool, and there's, I'm certain, vast numbers of other things. And I will be doing some more videos showing other designs and ways of doing those designs in the future. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.